Good morning. It is currently what time is it right now? 6.40 uh, in the morning and I am just sitting in bed uh, responding to some work emails while I wait for my baby monitor to go off in the morning. Um, for a really long time I was like no emails, nothing in the morning, like start your day um, and just like, you know, for you and all of those things. Now I find it a lot more helpful and a lot less distracting to just get emails and like consultation requests and things like that out of the way first thing in the morning so that I'm not like distracted or like wait, knowing that I have to do that um, while I'm like doing the typical morning routine. So that's what I'm doing. And today I just thought I would take you guys through a more realistic um, morning routine for me. Uh, not morning routine, sorry, <laughs> day in the life. Um, you know, working from home and also parenting and doing all of that stuff and just sort of like getting everything figured out. I thought that would be fun. <laughs> we'll see. So this is how I start my morning. Fresh faced and beautiful. <laughs> you can pick up on that sarcasm. Uh, that's where that is. And just really quickly, um, for anybody who's new here and doesn't know, um, I do like social media marketing and consultations and things like that. Um, I like uh, social media management, content creation, um, mostly in the travel sector, um, but really for like in a variety of niches. And um, this is something that I pivoted into during uh, the pandemic. Pre-pandemic, I had a travel company where I did uh, travel consultations, travel planning, uh, led travel groups and things like that. Um, overseas. That's still something that I do on like the consultation side and I still work with hotels and stuff like that. Um, but I have pivoted a lot more into marketing and working from home and that's actually been like a really successful endeavor for me. So I've been really excited about that. Um, you can't tell because I'm trying to be sh quiet, <laughs> but I've been really enjoying that. And um, yeah, I'm just kind of going to take you guys uh, through my day. So that's the plan. So once the little one wakes up, we head downstairs for breakfast, bottle, and play time. In the mornings, I try to devote my full attention to parenting and being present. Um, so that's really one of the main reasons that I try to respond to consultations and project requests early in the morning. The other reason though, honestly, is because it does make me look like a bit of a go-getter. <laughs> Uh, do we remember the days of sleeping in? Because I don't. Um, but yeah, and then after spending the morning together, it is lunchtime followed closely by nap time. Okay, so the little one is officially down for their nap and this is usually where my workday really actually begins. Um, I tend to like split nap time, which is about two to three hours, depending on the day, um, in half and the first half I do like meal prep and laundry and like things like that that I need to get done around the house. And then the second half I usually do, um, like I get smaller tasks out of the way. So this is where I would do things like um, content creation for Instagram, or maybe I would do community engagement for YouTube channels that I manage, or I would do a little bit for this channel, maybe vlog a little bit like I'm doing right now. Um, just anything that doesn't require my uninterrupted attention because obviously I'm going to be interrupted uh, at some point. Um, and then sometimes I will also schedule like uh, Zoom consultations and things like that during this time because those are 30 minutes to one hour. So depending on what has been requested, um, I'll schedule those during this time. I do have one of those consultation calls today, which is why I have gotten a little bit more presentable um, since the last time that you saw me. Do not be fooled. <laughs> I am still wearing track pants on the bottom, um, but you know, they don't need to know that. Um, so this specific call is with an Airbnb owner who is looking to market themselves, position themselves a little bit better um, online, like the social media presence. So we are doing some social media audits and things like that. And then I am going to kind of like walk them through um, 
just like a plan of action uh, that they'll be able to use and then hopefully we'll be able to do a little bit of work together moving forward sometimes it happens that way sometimes it doesn't um just for like various reasons a lot of the times it's because they're looking for someone full-time and i can't do that um but consulting i've been really loving because i kind of get to dip my toe in various different areas and and check out different travel related um like hotels and villas and airbnbs and all that kind of stuff um, and that's a lot of fun for me and really like coming from the travel industry is my like area of the most knowledge because i know so much about what travelers and different types of travelers are looking for um, and obviously i've marketed my own business so a lot of fun so i'm going to hop on that call here in the next 10 or 15 minutes um yeah and then i'll get back to you <laughs> So that meeting actually went really, really well. Um, I'm really happy with the way that everything turned out. Beautiful property. And I'm really excited to at some point go out and do a little bit of content creation there for them because they are uh, fairly local to me. So hopefully when I do that, I'll be able to share the destination with you guys and share it here on the channel. Um, but yeah, we did some social media audits and just sort of tried to figure out what we could do to position them a little bit better. That's kind of what I think one of my favorite things to do um, with like my history in travel planning is reviewing social media accounts for like Airbnbs and hotels and uh, tourism boards and things like that. And then um, sort of like letting them know what they could do to like better appeal to the audience that they are hoping to appeal to or market to. Um, so that's a lot of what we did on this call. And uh, yeah, it was great. Not gonna be a long-term client for me. I'm going to just sort of like come in and do some consulting when needed. And then obviously the content creation um, when the time comes, but um, yeah, really enjoying it. So um, I hope that you guys are enjoying hearing a little bit about this. I did a poll recently on uh, YouTube and also on Instagram and just like asked you guys if hearing more about uh, like my work day, day in the life and what I do behind the scenes and then like working with brands and uh, like the marketing side of stuff, if that was something that you guys wanted to hear a little bit more about and like the overwhelming response from those of you who responded, I think it was like 95% of um, like people on both platforms wanted that. Um, in addition to obviously like the vlogs and the travel and all that content. So I am going to try and do a little bit more of that, like some tips, videos and things like that. Um, for anybody who's like trying to market their own YouTube channel or their own property or, uh, just like anything like that. But I wanted to have this video, like this day in the life video here, just like for context for anyone in later videos. So I don't have to do like a disclaimer at the start of every video to like explain what I do and all that kind of stuff. Cause it is a little bit like a lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I hope you're enjoying this video. Um, nap time, I'm sure, is like coming to an end. So I'm going to go upstairs and grab a snack really quickly. And then I'll catch back up with you um, probably when I get back to work. <laughs> so after nap time, we do bottle and snack. Usually while I enjoy my afternoon coffee, let that caffeine kick in. Usually it is much needed at this point. And then I try to also prepare a fun little activity or task to work on uh, during the afternoon with the baby, um, whether that is stacking blocks or learning colors. This also works great for me because it doubles as time where I can work on my Thai language skills, talking with her, learning new words for whatever it is that we're learning learning about together that day. And then I tried to use the English and Thai words both um, just like as we go along. Okay, so it is about 
10 after 7. Um, dinner and bedtime routine and all of that for the little one have been done. Um, I'm just downstairs picking up some toys to close out the day um, and, you know, start tomorrow with a clean-ish and organized space. Um, after she goes to bed at about 7, 7.30, um, that's usually when I get the bulk of my work done. So I usually work from now until about 10, 10.30 at night. Um, realistically, I often work until like 11 or midnight <laughs> uh, on days like these, but then there's other days where I, I don't end up um, working too much at all in the evening. So it kind of balances out. You're probably wondering where <laughs> Derek is. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel, that is my husband. Um, he works out of town like approximately half the month each month. So this is like an average day in the life when I'm home and it's just me um, sort of doing everything. Um, and yeah, it is a bit of a jam packed like day. Um, I'm either like cleaning, parenting or working and there's not much in between sleeping when I can. <laughs> Um, but obviously when he's home, he sort of lightens that load quite a bit. Um, and I either get more work done or I get some more me time done. I also have a small group of contractors that do work for me doing like smaller projects and things like that. Um, to like kind of offset when Derek's at work so that I'm still able to keep up like the same momentum with all of my clients. And then, um, I don't have a personal assistant, like a virtual assistant. I've toyed with the idea so many times. But I, I just, I don't know. I'm kind of like a, I don't know that I could like give that much responsibility or like trust away. I don't know, I'm not sure. So if you're someone who's watching this and you have like a, you've worked with like a VO or a VA, sorry. Um, let me know your thoughts because yeah, people keep saying that I need one, but I'm just like, I don't know. I can't, I can't stop, I can't stop working. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's, I'm, I'm not going to take you through my evening, but that's just sort of like a little, uh, insight into my day in the life. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions specific to, uh, travel marketing, destination marketing, um, and all of that fun stuff, uh, feel free to leave it them, the, <laughs> sorry, this is how my brain is like at the end of the day. Uh, feel free to leave those questions in the comments down below and I will um, either get around to them or do a video on them um, or just like whatever's handy. I'm really still trying to figure out exactly um, what kind of content you guys want to see in between our travel adventures um, or if I should just kind of like post shorts and leave it at that. So any insight helps and uh, yeah, I'm just going to let you guys go here. So until I see you in the next one, stay great travel safe. Hit the like and subscribe button if you so please, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.